the grove to get a little tipsy Find me a bitty for licky. I just got in a whole brand new bag I'm rolling around like I missed it Elliot, jewelry moving like juice Keep talking all girls in the hit me Look, I just leveled up, I thank God Scrape from the mud, now it's time to get the pie Swipe his and blood, you can see it in my eyes My future turning up, what it's time to be alive I'm that nigga, I don't mean to brag But I'm getting too nice with this Ain't no way that I'm going outside My pockets been heavy as shit The bank is full of the blues Bitch, I'm happy how that contradict Same way I had to go harder When I found myself down on my dick me, me, me. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. Ba -da -da. <laughs> Not much of a girlfriend. I never seem to get a lot. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, that one was a bit better. But uh, anyway, hello, uh, my earth. Not earth. I just did earth. Well, I just uploaded the earth. Hello, my water sign collectives. Thank you again for joining me for another uh, general reading for all of you. I pray you all are doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and taking care of one another. And you already know what this channel is about. Please hit that like button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And if there are some things that I say in this message that do not resonate with you, water signs, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if you don't know, now you know. If there are some things that I say in that message that do not resonate with you, then feel free to leave those messages on the floor. Leave them at the door. Somebody else will come along, pick them up. I promise and guarantee you. So, first of all, before we get into the song, water signs. Uh, yes, I'm doing a collective read. I'm going to get back into the swing of things with uh, each individual zodiac sign. But in the interims, in the meantime, in between times, I just like to come in between and uh, give you all collective readings. So we just condensed everybody. Uh, what I mean by that is we're doing four different readings for all the elementals. And um, everybody gets their own separate read right there. So I'm going to say a lot in the messages. You take what resonates. You leave what does not. Uh, this is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whether this be your sun sign, your moon sign, your Venus, your rising, your Venus, your moon, your uh, north node. Anywhere that you have any of these signs in your birth chart, anything that I say, it could maybe apply to you and if you are unsure about what information you have in your birth chart please check out my description box down below and you will see the link to cafe astrology which you can be able to put in all of your information and you will be able to read your energetic dna pretty much what we came down here with or what we came to this physical earth with all of these gifts talents and abilities that we have not unlocked yet our strengths, our weaknesses, what we can work on, what we need to fall back from, what we can improve, everything. Our birth chart holds so much information. Um, check it out. Also, if you want a deeper birth chart analysis, because I do those and I take to, I like to take a look at other certain little things in there that could uh, help to enhance. Um, I've learned how to do that for myself. So if you are interested in that, then my information is down below as well too. Secondly, yes, I changed the name, Charm Scorpio. I still call you my quintessential crew because that is what you began as and that's what you will forever be to me. My quintessential crew, my quintessential team, my QCs. I'm my QCs. I like QTs though, my cuties, my QTs. Uh, so yes, Charm Scorpio. I have uh, a little bit of Scorpio on my chart too, okay? So <laughs> that's what we're working with. But uh, also, so that's neither here nor there. What else? Now, let's get into this reading. Cupid's Chokehold by Gym Class Heroes. I believe that song came out in, what was it? Was it 2007, 8? Something? I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. All right. Having fun. <laughs> so, I don't know. Is Cupid's Chokehold fun? I just saw the uh, creativity card. So, the fifth house, meaning fun um, with children. Children could be involved as well, too. Uh, but... The lyrics to that song, um, what, what is it? I have the lyrics pulled up uh, right here, actually, because I couldn't remember all of them. But, and I know it sounds so old, but Cupid got me in a chokehold, and I'm afraid I might give in. Uh, towel, towels on the mat, my white flag is waving. So, um, this could, I, listen, earlier this morning, during a meditation, 
This is the song that popped into my head and I said, all right, we're doing these readings. Whose reading is this? Well, we have two more elementals. Either it's going to be the um, water signs or it's going to be the air signs. Water, you lucked out with Cupid's chokehold. So I don't know if somebody's in Cupid's chokehold. Somebody is in love. Somebody is falling in love again for the 18th time. And they just can't help themselves. They're giving in um, to the emotions or to something. Or they just feel as if um, that little cute ass sheriff, Cupid, with the bow and arrow has struck them. And now, I don't know. Let's see what's going on with this situation. Um, also, something else with that song well it'll come to me in a minute but anyway eighth house eighth house is scorpio energy so endings beginnings eighth house all right dealing with death rebirth um ending something to begin something anew but as i said it has to do with death as well too it very well could be a physical death it doesn't have to be um, but what I'm getting with this is some kind of inheritance, money, because the eighth house deals with secrets as well too, and especially property and money, and especially in regards to it belonging to someone else. And I say that because the second house deals with Taurus, and that's the house of ownership, possessions, but it's talking about that second house now. The second house is talking about what we own what we are responsible for, what we are taking care of, where our money is going as far as properties and our security. The eighth house, it deals with money, it deals with security, it deals with material possessions, but more so on the line of it belonging to someone else, say an inheritance, a will, um, What's another example? You know, something, uh, if someone passes away, you know, or something, an estate. You get what I'm saying? Because again, the eighth house deals with death. So it's things that are dealt with after death or around that time, like I said. So what else is going on with this eighth house? The number five could be significant as well too. Here we go with the 10th house. That's Capricorn energy. 10th house being um, ruled by Saturn. Saturn is the planet that rules Capricorn. And the 10th house is our reputation. It's the world. It's how we're showing up. Someone could be receiving some kind of inheritance or some kind of lump sum, lump sum of money from a family or something or some kind of family affair that's going to help them to maintain or achieve some type of success. Or something here that's for some that's going to allow somebody's going to be able to travel travel in the world um it's about reputation as well too so it could be dealing with somebody's reputation out here how they're looked at so keep in mind as i said we're dealing with the eighth house with money with finances property estates, wills, any of that that deals with that those types of situations. Then we have the 10th house, the world, which is a reputation, success. Hmm. The 8th house all also deals with uh sexuality as well too or more so just sex period <laughs> Libra something in balance Libra deals with justice system as well too so it's something with a legal component it's a legal so again we started with the 8th house so this could be dealing with a passed over loved one or something with family, with maintaining some kind of balance or it being distributed evenly. I usually flip from the bottom of the deck 
but automatically I just took from the top. And here we go with Saturn, age, Saturn returns. Oh, okay. So this is dealing with someone, someone's status maturing or maybe someone maturing. Um, they're, someone is growing up for some. Uh, maybe somebody returning somewhere or ending, ending something, returning to somewhere. I think this is a return though, especially with the Saturn return because it's pretty much now that we've regained balance, now that we have established some type of equilibrium within our life, now we can come back. Now we've learned the lessons. We are wiser now. We're older now. We're more mature now. We've seen the world. We've traveled the world. We've dealt with endings. We've dealt with beginnings. We've accumulated Success, money. So what I'm getting right here is there's somebody, it could be something that they do for work as well too. Okay, because the world card, that 10th house is career. The 8th house, as I said, it deals with death. So it could be someone who works in the funeral, in the mortuary industry. They deal with the final final arrangements is what I'm saying. They deal with final arrangements. They deal with the distribution of something. This could be an older gentleman, um, somebody mature though, as I said, or this could have very well been an older gentleman that passed away. But Saturn, and I did say the 10th house is Saturn. Saturn came back home. Okay, so someone has come back home. So there could be an older man who's come back home or uh, someone who's returned home. Maybe they're a bit wiser. As I said, they've had more experience. They've accumulated money, status, wealth in some way. This, we'll get more into it, but as I said, this could very well have just been an older gentleman who has passed away and leaving some type of inheritance to someone, some type of money or something's being equally distributed. But here we go. Okay, so Mars, force. I did say a man, a masculine energy, and Mars is the masculine energy. Could be a woman in masculine energy too, but I very well get a man, like a, a male. You know, it's all energy. You put it where it goes, but this is a male. Somebody might be... Somebody is aging as well too. So it could be somebody who is afraid of somebody who's afraid of change but also somebody who uh they might be fearing something about death okay so i don't know if somebody might be going through some kind of medical situation or something um we'll get more into it but it's it's like somebody's trying to bring something into balance now. So as I said, maybe some maybe some things have been out of balance or out of whack in their life. I don't know. But <laughs> again, this who knows who's gonna watch this video. So I'm just calling out all energies that I feel and that I see. That's my job. Y'all's job, like I said. If it applies, keep it. If not, leave it where it is, okay? <laughs> leave it on the floor. Okay, and that's the truth. Ace of Swords, truth, clarity. 
something is coming to realization something is coming to light somebody's getting some epiphanies clarities if you will with the truth that is air energy that's libra aquarius and gemini somebody could be and we have libra right here so somebody could be speaking some truth somebody could be gaining some type of clarity as I said, uh, dealing with some uh, some something with the reputation. What is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords? Mars and Libra. I thought a car flipped out. Mars and Libra, um, both here, as we saw, these planets are opposite each other. So these are the opposing planets. Um, because one, one is fire. Mars is about action. It's all about taking the action. It's, sometimes Mars doesn't ask questions. Whoever or whatever is in this energy is just, all right, we need to go, go, go. Sometimes it can be very forceful as well too. Whereas Libra is all about balance. Mars can also sometimes be aggression as well too. So now, so maybe somebody who's been very forceful or someone who's been very aggressive or been in very heavy masculine energy, they, one of the lessons that they have learned or that they are currently learning Maturity for one not to be a hothead is being level-headed Especially when it's the way that people the world looking you know at us because somebody is always watching Integrity as well too and this is something that I was talking to one of my relatives about earlier today integrity And I explained to him what my definition of integrity was the easiest way that I have is Doing the right things even when no one is looking So I don't know if somebody's integrity was compromised here due to some money or due to some kind of reputation. The moon card, Pisces energy. So we have truth and clarity coming out about a situation that's been hidden. Because the moon is all about um, intuition, our emotions, hiding behind something it's uh buried deep beneath the surface or it's not easily seen um so something being hidden here and it could be dealing with this ace of swords with the tr with something with the truth or some kind of information it's data here we go with the death card Scorpio and the Knight of Cups. Somebody could have turned down somebody's um, offer. Knight of Cups is all about emotion. Oh, okay. Well, Cupid's chokehold. Somebody's in love. Somebody's in heavy emotion for something or someone. Maybe they're not uh, receiving the same feeling back as well, too. Seven of Cups, Scorpio, confusion. All right, mental confusion, emotional confusion, especially somebody, it's like somebody here is emotionally in, I don't wanna say, it could be emotional turmoil, but someone could be, uh, Someone here is secretly exploring other options. That's for some. That's some information that's coming out. Somebody is shopping around for something. Now, whether whatever they're shopping around for, you put that energy where it goes, but somebody is looking at options now. The Seven of Cups is all about alternatives, having more than one choice, but it can be very um, confusing 
if we're not looking closely because the moon again is something secret the seven of cups for me is also illusions putting up smoke and mirrors trying to cover something up under the cloak of darkness queen of swords I don't know why I just heard somebody saw something and I got it with this queen of swords. The queen of swords, whether it be a man or whether it be a woman, is somebody who has their head on straight. They're seeing things from a very clear point of view. They're staying in a very balanced Libra-like energy, whether this person is a Libra or not, because the queen of swords is air energy. So this could be the one who just saw through the illusion. Something about some truth here. Okay. Here we go. And away we go. Six of Wands. Leo. Somebody didn't get that victory. They didn't. They weren't successful. Some kind of embarrassment. The truth embarrassed somebody. The truth has put somebody to shame. King of Wands. Somebody's bold. Something about being bold here. And this King of Wands could very well be this Mars energy, the force. Because it's, it's, it's being bold. It's, it falls on top. It falls on top of the moon card. The moon, as I said, it's representing secrets. It's representing something that needs to be done very carefully. Under the, the, what is it? Under the view of a microscope. It's like inspecting something closely, doing something very carefully, moving and maneuvering very carefully. Moving through the booby traps, I'm getting with this seven of cups. Somebody could have stepped on their own trap is what I'm getting because this king of wands, the one who was being bold, is not in the reverse. And usually if it's in the reverse, it does give off a less than desirable energy from this one. But this is someone who I feel How do I want to say this? It's God, instead of moving carefully or instead of you know I know somebody like stumbling their way through the dark. I mean, this person, whoever they were, a, a, a very self-assured person, but it's something that they didn't see. But we're going to get into it next because, again, as I said, now somehow they stepped into their own trap. They stepped into their own booby trap. But somebody clearly, this queen of swords energy, clearly saw through the fuck shit. This is what, and the truth coming out is what caused this person to be publicly embarrassed or for them to have some type of downfall in a public way. Maybe this King of Wands energy, this could be leaders who are looking at them as well too. People who are um, not in charge of this person, but people who may be in a higher level or so or whatever an organization so they're looking at this person and they're they're seeing that this person failed in their mission whatever that mission was but they were not successful in it and this could be perhaps because they were arrogant bold um maybe thinking they could go against something okay but integrity doing things even when no one is looking the moon card It's pretty much, I'll say, the full moon and that crescent moon. But you know how they have the man and the moon and then he's looking down? Even at night, even when we think no one's looking, even when we think that it's dark, even when it's th we think that we can get away with something more easily because it's not in the daytime or it's not having light shed on it, still, somebody here may, be, may have compromised their integrity. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Compromise their integrity. 
I did say with sex too. So doesn't have to be Ace of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm. Somebody could have somebody could have compromised themselves sexually. Whatever that means. Um having excessive partners right here for some. Or if this is not a relationship, it was a lot of something going on that had them emotionally tied up or that it, 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 it was able to drain their energy in some type of way. I'll say that. Whether it was through sex, whether it was through some type of energy transfer or something, they let the wrong person get their shit. And it's probably somebody they lived with with the four of um four of uh wands here in the reverse. Because this is home, stability, structure. Oh, and then we get the magician too. Yep, magician. That is Mercury energy. And the seven of Mercury is the planet that rules Virgo and Gemini, by the way. They were living with somebody here. I'm going to say on one instance, there was a queen of swords energy who saw through the illusions and saw through the mess. And maybe once they did that, maybe this is why them seeing that sword of truth is what brought the downfall for this person. But there's somewhat, something here going in somebody's home, something going on in someone's home, their residence, their workspace, whatever stable structure that they have it's somebody who's working within that organization or working within that environment who doesn't need to be there because what they're orchestrating is okay we'll get into one in a minute hold on seven of pentacles Taurus energy so it's an investment somebody looking at somebody as an investment but once the clarification, once the information was learned, once something was said, once something was done, it was a no-go. So maybe that forced somebody else to now look and say, well, I can't invest in this. I can't rely on this. So now I have to work on this. I, I can rely on this. I have to put my energy more so into something else that I don't have time to worry about. Nine of swords in the reverse. This is dropping that worry. This is dropping the anxiety, the depression, overthinking. Maybe somebody needed some kind of clarification or some kind of information and it was hard for them to see something happening at nighttime. Maybe they them getting the message or getting the download or the information or something at night. Nightmares are over for somebody, though, are some kind of hard times or stressful times, but also possibly just beginning for somebody else, especially if they were working in this magician in the reverse energy. Because this energy, as I said, this is working against somebody and it's seeing somebody who's trying to establish and maintain. But then you have another party over here that's working to take to orchestrate some behind the scenes things. And it very well could have been people who were working together. These energies can overlap. These relationships can overlap. You can have people who you deal with in one aspect of your life, but also others who are in a totally different aspect of your life, but somehow it's still overlapping. Maybe these people know each other. Maybe they have had some kind of association together. Maybe there's some kind of common goal that's amongst them. Four of Cups. Scorpio. So no one can, someone can no longer ignore. Someone can no longer ignore. Hey man, Neptune. Neptune is a planet that uh, rules Pisces. So 
They can no longer ignore something, what they've been seeing, what they've been hearing, what they've been feeling. Maybe they've been uh, stagnant or maybe they have just been in one place. But when they learn the information, when they get it, or when someone, maybe someone could even be speaking or on behalf of someone as well too. As I said, this Libra card does deal with the judicial system. There's something here that's in limbo. And maybe someone is undecided about which direction to take or undecided if they should trust something. Or trust someone. Hmm. What is this seven of pentacles that we are now investing in though? <laughs> the lovers. All right, so healthy choices in everything. Healthy choices in love, healthy choices are healthier. Choices in love, lifestyles, um, work, career, money, the flow, going into the flow, going into the abundance. The lovers, that's Gemini energy. So maybe there's been some type of situation dealing with the lovers that's been held up, that's been in limbo. Again, this could very well be someone waiting on a job. Someone waiting on to hear back from an application. Anything that, that lovers, whatever is a solid investment or that's going to help build. And that can be anything to anyone because the lovers, it's about a choice. And it's about what's the best choice that I can make for myself that's going to ensure success. 10th house. Um, we never want to set ourselves up for failure, obviously. We always want to set ourselves up for uh, success. So now someone is being very serious about their success. They're being very serious about where they invest their time, their money, their resources. All right. So again, go back to that energy of earlier where I said, all right, someone compromised themselves however they did it. Maybe by an idea that they had, maybe by some kind of action that they took, whatever that action or whatever that idea was, someone put it into motion. But then on one hand, it seemed to throw something off, but then at the end, it seems as if, okay, it still works out for someone's favor because now we're able to see the lesson. We're able to see the bigger perspective, the bigger picture of all of this. I want to say to every um I want to say to somebody out there everybody is not your friend. I I got I got that by looking at this 4 of cups card. Sometimes it's okay to turn down the offer. Sometimes it's okay to turn down the uh I was about to say the substance whatever it is. Again, especially if we may have felt like, okay, Charlie Brown. That's the best example. You remember, I don't know, I love that uh, cartoon with Charlie Brown. So do you remember whenever Charlie Brown, he would be outside and Lucy, um, his little bitchy neighbor, she was. I like Lucy and I enjoyed her. Okay, Lucy must have been a Scorpio. I love Scorpios too, by the way. As you can just hear what I said in that video, in the uh, earlier part of the video, I'm working with my Scorpio. So no offense to any Scorpios out there. Take it for all love. Anyway, y'all showed up <coughs> in this reading. But whenever Lucy would try to convince Charlie Brown Oh, come on, kick the football. You can do it. You can kick it. I swear I'm going to hold it right here. And you just come on, you kick it, and I promise I won't move it. Every single time, Charlie Brown believed that. Every single time, Charlie Brown believed her. <laughs> and every single time, 
Charlie Brown landed on his ass. I don't know who needed to hear that, but everybody is not your fucking friend. It's okay to turn down the party sometimes. It's okay to turn down the celebration sometimes. It's okay to turn down the drink sometimes. It's okay to be alone. How about that? This man right here, usually with the four of cups, you'll see somebody or something being given to this man. But they're so focused on what they've lost or they're so focused on, you know, the the things that they had before that may not have filled them that they don't even see the opportunity that most high spirit is given to them. But right now, especially when it falls under this seven of cups, the illusions, smoke and mirrors, the four of wands in the reverse, and then the four of cups right here. It's kind of like somebody is saying, well, you've already fooled me enough. Somebody's tired of getting fooled. So like I said, maybe somebody somebody's about to check their friend group or about to check out of that friend group. Because you got some people back there who don't have your best interest at heart. Two of pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn energy. Dropping that burden, all right? Somebody's dropping the burden. Somebody is um, dropping that load, whatever that load is. But uh, <laughs> listen, water signs, just take it for, um, take it for uh, love. But somebody is uh, getting something, they're clearing something off their plate is what I'm saying. This makes it easier. Embracing the new. If we're so busy holding on to the old shit, how we gonna embrace the new shit, okay? So, the higher found, okay? Somebody could be getting a divorce. That's for some. Or some kind of commitment is coming to an end. Queen of Swords traditionally represents the divorcee. I don't see the King of Swords here. All I see is the King of Wands they could have been the match, but I mean, swords and wands are not the same suit. So maybe these people are getting divorced. Maybe there were some differences between them. Whatever those differences were. Maybe some things are not compatible between them anymore. It's like a commitment has now fallen or faltered. Somebody's over this commitment. Whatever that commitment is, whatever that relationship is. Family, friends, spouse. Your dog, if you feel like your dog betrayed you, I don't know. But what flipped over? <laughs> Shows up again. As I said, it's something here with this sexual component. <laughs> Somebody, you know, like, we not even gonna get into all of it, but y'all can just take what I said and you place it where it goes. Um, I'm sure you already know the story. Like I said, I'm reading energy. That's pretty much it. Don't shoot the messenger. Um, Ace of Wands, though, it is brand new beginnings. It's action. It's passion. It's renewal. So I love the fact that we are winding down the reading about the renewed spirit, the extra energy, the fire, the passion after we ended one thing over here. So something here very well could have been coming to an end. But now that we've worked our way through the scenario, <laughs> it's become a bit easier to let go of the old, let go of the past, let go of whatever is no longer serving, let go of the secrets, let go of the confusion, let go of the fuck shit, allow truth and clarity to shine through all day, every day, all night, throughout the night. Hell, somebody could be getting some throughout the night, okay? That's what's up. And you deserve it. <laughs> With this lover situation. If you've been through the ringer, all right? Or whatever you've been doing. But like I said, as long as you've been in a high vibrational behavior, a high vibrational energy, and you led your life with integrity, 
Now, I'm not saying you had to be perfect the whole time throughout your life because God knows we are not perfect. We are not here to be perfect. That's not the point of life. The point of life is to come down here. <laughs> Go through situations that may not always be the best for us, that may not always be best to us. But, as I said earlier, when we get to a certain stage in life or we even get to certain stages, I guess it, it doesn't even really matter. Sometimes it's Saturn returns that deals every 30 years. So someone here around their 30s or something could have happened when someone was around 30 or maybe their 60s now are approaching those ages. Some life situations and life changes are happening. Things are becoming real. But maturity comes on all levels to be honest so maybe now this is somebody seeing things on a, a mature level a more mature level but it could be uh i was gonna say it could be a bit late you know with that i mean all is well with that because we always as i said we come to life to learn to grow to heal to evolve to learn neutrality to balance where we release the past, where we heal the past. We deal with our traumas, our shortcomings, our hurts, our pains, um, all of those negative lower vibrations, everything that has happened to keep us in a stuck loop, a cycle, to keep us angry with the Mars card, keep us upset, keep us in low vibrational toxic energy. No. We come to life to break free of those. The Ace of Swords is about freedom. Learning the lessons. Judgment. So the past coming back. Sometimes in order to teach us what we need to learn right here in the present. In order for us to continue moving forward. We never want to get stuck. We never want to get lost in the past. Believe me. Because when we keep looking back, we turn into a pillar of salt. Isn't that what they say in the Bible? But uh, <laughs> the story of Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah and all of that stuff. The whole point is, if we continue to look back to the past and look back to the hurt, to the pain, to the trauma, to the, the blah, blah, this person did this to me, oh, blah, blah, I feel this way. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying your feelings are not valid, but what I'm saying is... Don't be a prisoner to your past. Your present is here. Your future is awaiting. The past, sayonara. I wish you well. All right. Uh, and this is Pluto energy, by the way. Scorpio. So Scorpio, you all up and through this reading. Eighth house, Scorpio. We end it with, I mean, we begin... I'm going to turn this video off in a minute. The endings and beginnings. We end it with you, Scorpio. I mean, we begin it with you, Scorpio. We end it with you, Scorpio. Pluto. That's the planet that rules us, Scorpio. All right, y'all. Clearly, I just like to talk. And I hope I got the message across. <laughs> this video has gone long enough. I'm done. I got another one to do. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you later. Hit that like button, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Cupid's Choco. Stay safe out there, water signs. Bye.